Hi everyone, Alex here. Welcome to our very first custom Amiibo tutorial. You guys have been asking us this uh, for a really long time on Instagram. Uh, if you're not following us, check out the link in our description below. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this Mii Sword Fighter into a brown haired, green shirt, smiling character. And when we're all done, we're going to send it to one of our YouTube friends, and I know he's going to love it. So. Some of this video is going to be a uh, speed forward while I do it, but I'm definitely going to show you what I'm doing first. For materials, you'll need a couple brushes. You don't need anything really special or expensive. I would recommend a flathead brush, which covers broad strokes and more surface area at one time. And then a needle nosed brush for fine details. We're going to pick up a surface primer. Uh, we choose to use Acrylicos Balejo. They're a wonderful sponsor of ours, but there's many different brands. We choose this one because it works really great for us. So choose the one you like and go with it. You see he's been primed fully, so let's choose a brown that we want to use. We have beige, we've got flat brown, we've got orange brown over here, a little bit of black. I'm going to start with flat brown. You're going to want to shake your paint. It's a really good idea and it helps a lot. It helps with mixing and sometimes the paint will settle to uh, the bottom. Sometimes I like to test it out. I don't like that. I don't like that look. So we're going to mess with it a little bit. I'm going to do a little color mixing. So I'm going to add just a very tiny bit of black to darken that brown color just for my own preference. So that's kind of a nice dark brown. It really is okay to use more than one layer as long as you're doing it thin. You're not going to want to glob paint on. You're not going to want to rush it drying. Usually this acrylic paint dries very quickly, so you don't have to wait long, but it is important to use your patience. It's all just your own preference. Have fun with this. You know, this is just you know, simple art, so you get, you get to call the shots, you get to do whatever you like. That's a pretty cool green. What do you guys think? I like it. Let's test it. So, I removed a lot of the paint just to make sure that I'm not globbing it all on at once. So here you go. We're gonna cover the majority of the surface area with this wide brush, getting as much as we can without, again, globbing on the paint. It's really important not to do that because you're gonna get roughness and it's not gonna look as good as it could. So spread the same amount of paint as far as it'll go and once you feel like you've gotten close to all the edges and it really is okay if you cover a spot that you don't want to it is very possible to remove that paint if you're quick um, it's great to have water by your side so you can do that all right.
Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button. And be sure to check out our weekly podcast called Brush Up. Also, thanks to our sponsor, Acrylicos Vallejo, for providing paint for this video and future videos. We really appreciate them and all of your support. Have a good one.